hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time of coming here thank you so much for coming and if you've always been here thank you very much today is another movie review let's get right into it so the movie we're going to review is none other than 30 to 31. Now this movie was produced by the amazing Omoni Oboli and it's currently on her YouTube channel, Omoni Oboli TV. I will drop the link on my description so you can go there and also check it out. Now, the movie basically talks about um, two lead actors, the amazing, amazing Bibo Adimoye playing the role of Genevieve and Esodike playing the role of Desmond. The opening scene, one person accidentally hits the other, you're apologizing, and then the next day you're seeing each other again in the corporate environment, okay? Genevieve has her own company that she runs, and this one is coming into the company to have an interview with her. So you can imagine the shock on her face. This one becomes a part of the company, right? But we see that this one is very, very cocky. Now, why do I say it's cocky? Because, yes, you obviously like your boss. I mean, you now know that she's your boss, but you still like her. And you think that um, a way you can go around it is by, you know, removing that personal space. You want to give a report or you want to give a file, and then you are trying to get close to her. You're trying to go over her shoulders. Like, are you whining me? I'm going to slap you. Are you? Say, say you're whining me, Nick. I'm going to slap like there's something called personal space and for god's sake it is even in the work scene but of course he was just being cocky but she called him out on it I'm like hello i'm your hoga i'm your boss you understand aside from all the cockiness we get to see that he's actually someone who brings in value to the company they had to work together for several contracts and all that so one way or another they fall in love i guess like the whole aim of the whole movie is that exactly they fall in love they do do fall in love what sort of type thing what happens to being a different person at work is that what you want of course not but you said it oh well, this is what i want now so what you gonna do about it yeah. mm -hmm. both of them are age mates they are both 30, about to turn 31, right? Now, however, Genevieve is just about some months older than this one, and they do not have a problem with that. Genevieve is kind of skeptical, which I guess is kind of, I don't blame her. I guess it's just the, we like to the Nigerian scene, because, I mean, I've not really gone outside the country, so I can't say for other places. But the fact that, I mean, first of all, my staff, second of all, I'm older, one way or another, because I know some persons will say, but it's not, it doesn't matter. But I grew up in a home where my dad told me that as long as you are, even if you are a second older than someone, like you come out a second before someone, you are older than that person. So I come out from a background like that. And I know that a number of, um, a number of you who are Nigerians, like you are in the same... <laughs> you're in the same space with me you understand so she was a bit skeptical about that but anyway finally, i mean love my units she don't, don't, don't fall in love right and the relationship is going smoothly he gets introduced to her parents the parents are fine they're like oh that's wonderful it's so good to know you it's so good to meet you even though they know right he's a staff working under her but they do not have a problem with it as long as the two people who are in the relationships do not have issues with it. Also, I do most of the babysitting in this relationship, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. I do all the babysitting in this relationship. But there's one mother. I believe that there's one mother is the weapon fashion they give the relationship. Because the mother just did not approve of the relationship. Especially when she knew that first, you are the boss of my son. Secondly, you are older than my son. So, who is this lady that I don't know? I mean, technically, you know who she is, but not personally. So, she is my boss that we've been speaking about. Is it not bad enough that you work for a lady? You want to marry your boss? Mommy, it's not like that. Mom. She's older than you, Mom. period. Mom. By the way, what is even wrong with all these old ladies who are looking for fresh blood so that they can feel young? I think that age thing is something that is really, really 
um, a touchy aspect when it comes, especially when um, a lady is turning or about to turn 30 or you're already 30, going like in your early 30s, there is that, you know, Gomare, the place where she busts my head, right? The place that she do do bust my head. This month's mother, Diana, played by Blessed Onkwe, tells Genevieve that the only way I can finally agree to this marriage is if you hand over your company to my son. So you are telling me, after all this thing I said, you are telling me that you will not allow your husband to take over the company? That's not even an option, no. that's ridiculous. Oh, it is ridiculous, you're saying that to my face. Help me, help me, to, help, help me to calculate it. Help me, is the mass massing because it's not massing at my end. I don't know whether it's massing at your end. Like, I don't understand. Because I own a company, because I'm a woman, you want me to hand over my company to your son because I want to get married to him. How? Like, why? Now, I feel like Desmond tried a bit. I will say a bit. I'm going to give him that. I believe that he tried a bit in trying to defend um, Genevieve in front of his mother, but I felt he did not do as much justice at the beginning, right? Because he allowed the mother to say so much. There was just too much insults. It's almost typical. In most, I think for 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 people's ex from people's experiences, both the ones that I've read online and the ones that I know, the few ones that I know, most times. I mean, you don't want to talk back at your parents. You feel like your parents are right. But you are a man. You are bringing in a woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with. And your parents are saying all sorts of derogatory remarks about her. And you just sit there watching, thinking that your parents are helping you make the right choice or helping you scrutinize her or something like that. Like, hello, I'm going to leave there. I'm going to I'm going, I'm going to leave. And I feel like Genevieve was also kind of like a bit out of line, a little bit. But I know that Desmond's mother pushed her because she also had to talk back. The place where Desmond goes to meet Genevieve and tells her that she should go back and apologize to his mother. What do you guys think about that? Bitch, I, I crossed the Do line. Don't leave me and go inside and apologize to her, please. And if I don't? Baby, if you don't apologize to my mother before leaving here, it's over. Oh. Please. I guess that's it then. That maybe Genevieve might have gone too far in saying all those things, but she was pushed. Now, Desmond's younger sister, Chenuchi, played by Gusty Tibuike, called out her mother. Like, that's scene, it too sweet to me. Okay. Mommy, I, I heard everything you said you said to her. And if you ask me, I, I will say that girl has a lot of self-control and respect. Because hmm, if I were to be in her shoes, things I would have said to you were. Eh? If I did not sacrifice, we'll be here today. Mm. Yeah? Mommy, we told you respect. Did we ask for it? Mm? Did we ask for it? Like all the sacrifices you made, you decided to make. This one also finally muttered courage and told her, if you are not going to support me and my decisions, it's like you will leave. Eventually, um, the mother apologized and Desmond and Genevieve finally came together, got married, and they lived happily ever after. So that's all about the movie. I totally, totally enjoyed the movie. I believe that every every actor, I mean, I, I know a number of them. I know a number of them. So I know that they always bring in their A game. Something about Omoni Obodi's movies is that um, you would always enjoy them. Enjoy them. There is always one lesson to learn, one or more lessons to learn. There are always something that you can relate with. Now, um, was released just in March, 
2024 do well to check out the movie the link is in the description box and you can check out other amazing movies that she has on her youtube channel thank you once again for joining me here make sure you come next time to check out all the videos that i have on my youtube channel make sure you subscribe if you are yet to like this video please drop a comment what you think about this movie and i will see you in the next video bye